YouTube channel. XT, initiate launch sequence. Initiating launch sequence. Not sequins, you ding dong. Sequence. Flick it. Purple. Go. What? <sighs> Blasting. A long week. Anyway, it's Cat. So, you guys are probably wondering, what am I wearing? I have hair extensions. My hair is long enough in the back. My natural hair is long enough in the back. I can wear extensions now. And they're a lot more comfortable. So, it's a good thing I brought out my XT because I discovered something on eBay that you guys probably did not know. So you guys are probably fully aware that the Sonic Edition, the green XT, was from Toys R Us. It was a Toys R Us exclusive, right? And the red XT I think either the red, uh, Caliente edition, I think was t Target exclusive, I think. Either that or it was the Black Onyx. I know either the Black Onyx or the Caliente, or Caliente, sorry, are Target exclusive. I could have sworn it was this one. But. Let me show you something. So, I'm pretty sure you guys knew that the Boppet XT Caliente Edition was a Target exclusive, if I remember right. Oh, the, here we go. The Black Onyx Edition was only available at Target. The Sonic Edition was at Toys R Us, so I was wrong. But um, there is one thing that you guys might not know, and that is this is not the first time Toys R Us has done something Sonic Green like the XT. Back in 2006, there was an iDog. You guys remember me talking about iDog back in 2021. They had iDogs that were green, that were Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah, so this was 2006. And in t for Target, the same year, they had an iDog that was a solid red. So, with that being said, I'm starting to wonder what other products besides the XT and the iDog were green Toys R Us and red Target exclusive, even though, like I said, the Black Onyx XT and the Black Onyx Bop at Smash actually were Target. So, let's look up Green Toys R Us Rare Toys. Oh, it looks like Nintendo 64. They had a rare Nintendo 64 controller from back in the early the late 90s that was Toys R Us exclusive. That was a Sonic Green just like the XT. Let's see, they had a 
Okay, these are just all Toys R Us toys. I wonder if there was a Nintendo 64 red controller target. And it looks like they do have a red controller, obviously, but it wasn't Target exclusive. So I'm starting to wonder if one, uh, if things like the green XT and just about anything green that's Toys R Us, if they've got those, if, if Toys R Us has more green stuff then Target does red stuff. Because if you think about it, they do have Monopoly Target. They got Monopoly Target Edition, which of course is a lot, looks a lot um, newer. It's got the Hasbro Gaming logo on it. This is like from a couple years ago, I think. Um, I don't think they ever made a Monopoly Toys R Us. No, they didn't. Oh, Monopoly Toys R Us Times Square Edition. It was in a tin, it looks like. It looks like it was pretty old from, yeah, it's got the really old layout. Let's see. The year says 2001. Wow. So that, oh, and they even had Mr. Potato Head in back then as well. Wow, that's not strange at all. But I'm starting to wonder what other toys were green, green colored exclusive toys are us toys. Oh, so Toys R Us released a line of green toys that were marketed as eco-friendly. The toys are packaged in earth tone boxes with a green R seal that has, oh, that's not even close to, that's not even close. Oh, here we go. Some green toys were a green iguana lizard R plush, which was a vibrant green plush toy made by Toys R Us in 2010. Green toys... Disney Baby Mini Mouse Stacker, a seven piece set with the Minnie Mouse themed topper and base that's safe for unisex toddlers ages six months and up. Green Toys My First Stacker, an eight piece set nest with nesting pieces in blue, green, yellow, and orange that can be stacked in any order. So, okay, oh, here we go. So here's the Toys R Us Lizard. Um,. Here we go. A brief history of exclusive Nintendo, Toys R Us exclusive Nintendo products. So Japanese Toys R Us had an, green, an emerald green Game Boy Pocket, which was a smaller version of the Game Boy that was released in the 90s. And it used to glow in the dark. They had a green, clear green Game Boy Color. They had another, an ice blue, a midnight blue, a blue, to they had a midnight blue Toys R Us exclusive Game Boy Advance, Peak a limited edition Pikachu Game Boy Advance SP. They had a whole bunch of stuff that were, oh, a golden fat DS that was exclusive to Toys R Us in Japan. So, I guess this only proves that Toys R Us, oh, and they had, they had a, uh, an extreme green as well, it looks like this. So it does have like the translucent green, just like Toys R Us had for the XT Sonic Edition. So, I guess this only proves that Toys R Us had a lot more green um 
toys than uh, Target did with stuff. They Target did either black or red, usually, for them being exclusive. Um, yeah, you got your SpongeBob, GBASP, a Pearl Green, Toys R Us, Game Boy Advance XP in 2004, a gold Nintendo 64, which I've actually seen online before, the Pikachu Nintendo 64, which I, those are extremely rare. Here we go, the Extreme Green um, Limited Edition Nintendo 64, that was at tar that was exclusive to Toys R Us. And the Midnight Blue Japanese Nintendo 64. They had a Nintendo 64 controller that had Jeffrey the Giraffe mascot. Um, it was a, a Japan exclusive controller. So, yeah. So I guess this only proves that Toys R Us had a lot more green colored stuff than they did for Target in red. So, with that being said, with that being said, I guess Toys R Us and their green products, like the green XT, were a lot rarer than red Target XTs. Well, actually, this wasn't even Target exclusive. I could have sworn that the Black Onyx, which was considered special edition, was not as rare as the red XT. Someone told me that, and I told them, no, that's not right. The green XT definitely is probably one of the rarer ones someone told me out there there was an orange xt but i i've only seen like one in my life and it was expensive um but yeah and if that was the case it was probably very rare or a defect or something maybe it was super rare i'm not sure but this only proves that Toys R Us really went all out with the green while Target stayed in the red zone. <laughs> so, anyway, this was just a short video um, showing my discovery of the red and green eye dogs and the green eye dog from Toys R Us apparently matched with the green XT, which came out five years after the eye dog did. The green eye dog did. So anyway, thank you guys for watching the short video. I needed to get a video out anyway because I hadn't been active in a few days. So that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Like it. Bring it. Join it. Share it. Pass it.